Sorry. Hello, welcome to the channel. Or welcome back to the show. And welcome to the Fazbear Entertainment Story. And before you ask, Ethan, why are you on? Why does it stay under YouTube night uh, to go on to night two? And to say night one. You're absolutely correct about that, to be honest. The thing is, I did try night one out on this game before. And to be honest, I guess. I. Got really. Hold on, actually. Let's see if that works. Nope. Delete does not work. And I'm pressing the button and delete. Whatever, that is fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm going into a new game anyway, so yeah. But, uh, anyways. So, this video is most likely going to just be night one and two for the most part. And then, next video will most likely be night three and four. And then, night five and six afterwards. So, yeah. And, to be honest, if you like what you see in this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. You know, show up here, so, uh, show up you like what... Without further ado, let's get right into this video, shall we? Now, I do apologize if it does mess up a little bit in terms of the audio or anything. Again, anything it should. If you're hearing this message, I wanted to thank you again for taking this job. I needed this position filled on very short notice, and your application couldn't have been more perfectly timed. My name is Henry, and like I informed you earlier, you will be receiving pre-recorded messages from me whenever you start a new shift. These messages will be used to help guide you through the week, or at least until you get your bearings. The building you're currently in is a storage facility which holds relics from a once popular children's pizzeria chain. The last pizzerias in this chain have been closed for a while now, most of the objects in this building are even older than that, so this place has gone unwatched for quite some time. Regardless, all the equipment inside the building should still be suitably functional. Now, I'm hey, afraid this job won't be as simple as sitting around in your office and checking cameras. This building houses several decommissioned animatronic animals that once entertained children in those aforementioned pizzerias. Despite all the money that was poured into them, they were scrapped due to perceived malfunctions. I had my gripes about this choice, but regardless, they have been stored here for a while now. For most of that time, they've been gathering dust. However, lately, I've been seeing signs of activity inside the building. I have reason to believe that someone has been tampering with the decommissioned animatronics and is attempting to reactivate them. Now, I don't think you'll have to worry about encountering whoever has been tampering with the animatronics during your shift. You should be more worried about the animatronics themselves. These animatronics were designed to freely walk around the building and entertain guests. And if someone has been actively tampering with them, it's likely that they'll be walking around the building during your shift. Now, I'm not sure what changes have been made to their AI, and that means I don't know how they'll react to the side of you. With that in mind, we should prevent them from reaching you. You have a few tools at your disposal to help make it through your ship. You have been provided a camera panel that lets you remotely access all the building's cameras. Use these cameras to keep an eye on the animatronics and ensure none of them are moving. There is a separate set of cameras placed inside the air vents of the building. In your office to your right is a building status panel. You can use this to stay aware of the current status of the building's various systems. Most important is the building's power. Your power supply is limited and is consumed by several systems in the building. Your cameras do not consume additional power as they run on a separate unrestricted supply. Once the building's power supply reaches critical levels, several systems will shut down, such as the building's lights. With this in mind, you have also been provided with a flashlight to help illuminate the dark corners yeah. of your office. Your flashlight has its own separate battery, which is obviously unaffected by the building's power. In addition, you have been provided with a mask of one of the pizzeria's mascots. The animatronics in this building were once outfitted with advanced facial recognition software. If they get close enough to see you, 
you should keep them from recognizing you as human. Now, I'm not sure if the facial recognition is still functional on each of the animatronics. And it's not impossible that the mask won't work on any of them. But regardless, if any of them have their old facial recognition software still in use, the mask should protect you from them. Assuming the mask doesn't work, you have a few other options to protect yourself. You have an air vent that runs through your office. In the event that something undesirable were to crawl through it, you can close its opening to your office using a button. Keeping this closed does drain power, so don't leave it shut longer than you need to. I know it's a fairly makeshift solution, but I only had so much time to install it before your first shift. This should be all the information you need for your first night. Remember, your shift ends at 6, and at that point, you are expected to leave. Do not stay any longer than you need to. I'll have another message for you recorded before your next shift. Good luck. End hmm. message. I just want to... Oh, hello. Alright. That is so cool. I love that thing. Okay, where's Chica? Chica... Still there, okay. Alright, there he is, okay. Alright, there you go. But oh yeah, I like the fact of being in a storage facility and stuff like that. Um, a location that takes place after FNAF 2. I like that fact. And especially seeing these animatronics in such poor condition. You know, like all these cracks in the shell and all the withering and stuff. Like mangle her snout and it has that little line there and kind of the upper portion of her head quite funny like right here where you see my mouse cursor have the like entirety of his lower torso just kind of broken yeah, hello but oh yeah i like that fact i, I really do i think it's like <laughs> quite funny attacked and there's only one two attacks but I, uh, I like a lot about this game. The uh, continuation of the FNAF 2 and the whole ordeal of scrapping animatronics, the location, the mechanics, which we only saw at Toy Bonnie so far, but we're of course going to see more and be most likely throughout the game. That's a nice little one. Congratulations on completing your first shift. However, if I am correct in my assumption that these animatronics are being actively tampered with, I'm afraid your job is likely to increase in difficulty as the week continues. I will do my best to slowly introduce you to your responsibilities here, so as not to overwhelm you. I'd like to take this moment to remind you about the functionality of this building's power. In the event that you encounter a building-wide power outage, do not assume that you are defenseless. Your cameras operate on a separate power supply, and will continue to function even if the building goes dark, although you may not be able to see much. Your flashlight's battery is not tied to any other system, and can therefore continue to be used to brighten up your office once the lights shut down. Your mask is, of course, unaffected by a loss of power. However, that does not mean that you should not worry if the building loses power. You will be unable to seal any openings in the building's ventilation system, including the one located in your office, and all currently sealed vents will open. Further, the three main cooling fans located in the vent, which maintain the building's temperature, will immediately shut down, and your office will begin to heat rapidly. Please keep this in mind. You will receive a more thorough explanation on the cooling fans tomorrow night. Good luck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Like I was saying, I like a lot about this game. Like, uh, I do think it's great. It's like uh, the continuation of like the storytelling of uh, the location we're in, the mechanics, the way the animatronics look. You know, kind of like how. Uh, 
Uh, kind of like how he is all cracked up and torn and stuff like that. Like Freddy is still there. Yep, there he is. I like the smooth little animations of them popping up and stuff like that. Whatever. Yeah. That's the uh, thing, really. I like the fact of like the. It doesn't really do much per se, like night one we only had to wait by the attack and I kinda feel like Koichi is obviously pretty well. Yeah, she's most like, definitely gonna attack tomorrow at least once. Um I like the uh feature of like the fans here, like which of course we're not really gonna do with tonight, obviously. Or at least I don't think we are. But here. So, there you are. Okay, now he just but like, you know, all the features and all this and that. The fact that it's not like, oh, we're in this gigantic building and stuff. But anyway, this insane amount of cameras, this insane amount of, you know, whatever. Oh, that's actually really cool. You can see her right there in the front. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I think she shows up right there, right? Lisa. I like that a lot. They're about to have to show up. It's likely anyway, but that's cool. I like that little detail. Being able to see Toy Cheek in the vent with my uh, little webcam and show a uh, couple of people. But still kind of see it right there. <laughs> I like that a lot. She's in a separate portion of the event. I mean, technically, that's true. It's like there's the main thing, things here, and then there's like a separate thing event building. Come on, it's for you. Nobody's gonna attack. Oh, there you are. Hello. Bye. <laughs> Get out of here. There she goes. I right, should listen. Hey, Bonnie, she's sitting there. What are you doing, dog? Oh, wait, he's here. Am I? <laughs> I was like, wait, why are you just sitting there? Oh, wait. Oh, God, he's mad. Not just sitting there. Where's she at? Oh, there she is. How did you get over here? Do the things, like, connect up to one another? You know what I'm... Oh, God, that's actually kind of interesting. That was... And she's back over here. Hi, Van. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought she had appeared like back up here or something. I guess not. Anybody gonna attack before 6 a.m., though? If anybody is probably quick. <laughs> Thanks. But uh, yeah, I'm at. Yeah, oh, hello. I didn't even know he left the room. There he is. Hello, oh, Freddy. There you go. Oh. I like that so much. I really do. I didn't realize he was active. <laughs> Good thing I checked, because my god, I was about to lose. Most likely. She, uh, oh, she's already back in the thing. Did not know that. <laughs> yeah. oh, there we go. 6 a.m. But, uh, yeah, that's the thing. Like, and that's kind of the thing I like about these fan games and stuff, is that it doesn't try to throw so much at... Hey, sorry, Freddy. Um, it doesn't really try to throw a lot of stuff. Like, especially this fan game, it doesn't try to throw a lot at you at once. Like, you know, and have everybody active, you know, like... That's the main act active by night two or three. But I, uh, anywho, I, I mean, obviously, that's most of the case. Of course, like, that's three of the characters. Three other, as far as we know, four characters. But, uh, yeah. Um, anywho, I'm gonna end this video here.
if you'd like to see more, leave a comment down below, subscribe, and uh, like, you know, whatever. And yeah, this has been the Captain Stephen. I hope you enjoy it, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.